Hello! If you're trying to make a professional poster using PowerPoint, you've come to the right place. I'm Jerry Overmeyer, the Outreach Coordinator for the MAST Institute at the University of Northern Colorado. First thing I like to do in making a PowerPoint poster is getting a template. Now you can get a template, use any template you'd like, but one that works well we have available at the MAST website at mast.unco.edu slash forms and then download the PowerPoint program PowerPoint Poster Template. So here's the template that you've just downloaded. Now if you want to take a look at the size you can go to design and go to page setup and you'll see that this is 56 inches wide and 36 inches high. If you want to print from the MAST Institute, most printers, ours included, have a height of 36 inches. So that has to stay constant. A width of 56 is pretty standard. Anywhere from 48 inches to 60 inches is pretty standard. One thing that's nice when you're doing this is if you go to view, to turn on these grid lines, that way it'll help you line up anything on your poster. One thing I recommend for creating your poster is to have all of your text in a separate Word file. Word and PowerPoint seem to work pretty good together. So I'm going to go to a paper I did a few years back. And for example, now all I need to do to create the title on my poster is to cut the title out of my paper, hit control C, and then go back to the poster. And now it's kind of hard to work with when it's zoomed out this far. So I'm going to go to view and go to zoom. And a good way to view it is probably at about 33 percent. Anything bigger than that and you'll just be seeing a tiny slice of the poster. So if you hit 33 percent now you see you can see the poster pretty well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the text box of where my title is and I'm just going to select over this title. Come on. And then just hit control V and boom it puts in my title and then I can go ahead and center it or change the font or get it to look however I want. So for example to center it you can just go back to home and you hit this little paragraph button right here and it centers it for you. And so then for example you can put in your name right here, type in your department, feel free to change the fonts to give your poster a little uniqueness. Now what I like to do is um, instead of retyping I'll just go back to my Word file and I mean obviously you'll have to edit this but um, just go ahead and cut and paste some portions of your paper hit control C go back to your poster and select the box and then just select the text and hit control V and boom it puts in your text and then obviously you might need to resize it or change the font. One thing to notice on your poster is to kind of keep an idea of what the font sizes are. Notice if I click here on my title this font is size 96 and these secondary titles for example my name is a font size of 58. Down here in my regular text a font size of 28 is normal um, down here this font size is 26 so you really don't want to use anything smaller than a font size of 26. You want to keep in mind that you want people to be able to just get a general idea of what your research is from the poster. Try not to get too wordy on the poster. Now the next thing I want to show is how to insert photos. So to insert a photo 
what I would do is, well, first of all, any photo taken from a digital camera should be fine. Now, if you want to get images off the internet, however, you need to make sure that you save them by right-clicking on them, and they need to be at least 50K in size. So I'm going to go up to Insert and see what I have here. So I'm going to go Insert Picture, and here's some of my pictures. Um, I think on my desktop I have what I want here. And so I have some especially for the poster. Okay, here's a picture I took of myself. Wow, that's a really great picture. But as you can see, the size is 641K, so that's fine. So I'll select that, hit Insert, and obviously that picture is way too big. So I'm going to go back to View. Go to fit to window, and we see, okay, there's my picture. We obviously don't want it that big, and so you just shrink it down to the size you want, and then you can just drag it around and put it in your poster wherever you want. Okay, now it's you can always make pictures smaller, but it's usually not a good idea to make them bigger because they may become pixelated when you go to print. So let's try another one. So insert picture. Um, Let's see, here's a picture, uh, JPEG image, size 146, so the size is okay. This is something I got off the internet, and so we'll just insert that. And again, you just put it in your poster wherever you want it. Okay, now finally, one thing you may want to add to your poster is actual University of Northern Colorado logos. So if you do that, go to this website, www.unco.edu slash publications, and then go down to University Logos and actually download the logos. This um, will look much better than if you just were to cut and paste logos off the university site. Now JPEGs work best, so let's, uh, let's grab a uh, primary logo in blue, so we just click there, and then it appears here, and so now we just right click, save picture as, and then put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it in my uh, little poster folder, UNC logo blue, hit save, and then if I go back to my poster, I just go to insert um, a picture, and hey, there it is, UNC logo blue, hit insert, where'd it go? Oh, it's tiny, but we can make it bigger, and then you can put it wherever you want or wherever you feel is appropriate in your poster. Now one final thing. All right, well, that covers all the basics of making a poster. Obviously, you know, it's going to be a lot of cutting and pasting, a lot of just moving things around, making them look good, making sure things are lined up. Um, you'll probably get frustrated at some point. Uh, please do not take it out on your computer um, physically. You can take it out verbally on your computer, of course. Um, and then finally, if you want to print and you are on near University of Northern Colorado or involved with us, simply go back to the form site and print out a poster request and that will have all the information you needed to get your poster created. Um, if you have any questions, well I hope you found this tutorial somewhat helpful. Um, please, if you have questions, contact either myself, Jerry Overmeyer, at unco.edu, or Lori Ball at unco.edu. Have a good one. See ya.